Well, welcome to Beach Week. How are we feeling? If someone were to ask you, who are you? What would your answer be? At the core of our being is a search for identity. The problem is that we have confused identity with how we feel, what we like, and what we do. Where can we turn to to learn who we are? Could it be that the God who made me and who knows me has something to say about who I am? This week, I hope that you will allow God to do an identity check on you. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? We bear God's image mentally, relationally, morally, eternally, intrinsically with value. We were always meant to find our identity, our value in God. And the only way that you guys will know, that all know who we are, is when we have a personal relationship with our Creator. When God created Adam and Eve, God said that they were very good. But do we all feel very good all the time? What distorted our originally created identity? When sin entered the world, we had something pretty nasty, pretty gross enter into our lives. We have been on the receiving end of being wronged and we've been on the giving end of being wronged. And I've gotten to see that play out in several instances in my own life. And I spent months just asking God why, and I was so angry that somebody's stupid sin in their life would allow this to happen. Sin has earned us both our first death and our second death. The beauty though is that it doesn't end there. He made the one who did not know sin to be sin for us so that in Him, in Christ, we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus comes to restore our identity. It is only when we acknowledge Christ for who he truly is that we can see who we truly are. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and see the new has come. Why would I make a bed in my shame? I think that many of us in this room are doing that in our own spiritual life. We are willingly taking our bed to the city dump, laying it in the trash, and just staying there. We want you to know that you don't have to make your bed in shame. You have the opportunity to fall on your knees and lift your hands to heaven and, and say, God, I want more of you. Many of you may not know this, but thank you. Uh, where are you originally from? I was adopted from Thailand. I was saved when I was 15. I just remember feeling just a sense of peace after I asked God to just save me 
and be with me for the rest of my days in each new chapter that comes in my life. God is real and he loves you and he cares for you and he has a plan for your life. And I hope that if you forget everything I've said up here tonight, you hear those words. There is a God who sent his son to die for you. All my life, my identity was that I am broken, my body is broken, but I'm not my body. I'm not broken. I belong to my savior and his body was broken until it wasn't. And then he got up three days later. That's who I belong to. Like whenever I chose to start chasing after him, I have had a peace and a joy that is unexplainable. Receiving Christ does not just change your position after you die, it changes who you are for the rest of your life. Ephesians 2.10 says that, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God created in advance for us to do. Look at God, you are his piece of art, your beautiful piece of art. I finally figured out I've got a purpose. And when I discovered that, I, I didn't look back. All we need, are you ready? We just need God.